Prime Minister Modi inaugurates Semicon India 2025 in New Delhi. It's a semiconductor industry event. The Prime Minister says the world trusts India, believes in India, and that the world is ready to build a semiconductor future with India. Describing the semiconductor as a digital diamond, he says India's smallest chip will soon drive the world's biggest change. Joining us is Mr. S. Krishnan. He is the Secretary of the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Mr. Krishnan, welcome to DD India News Hour. Now, before we talk about the Made in India chip, would you like to tell our viewers about Semicon India to begin with? Semicon India, this is the second edition of uh, Semicon being held in India. Uh, Semicon are international uh, conferences on semiconductors held in different parts of the world. There are about eight or nine locations across the world. They are, they are currently being held. Semicon West is held in the United States. There's second, uh, Semicon Europa, there's Semicon China, there's Semicon Japan, Taiwan, Southeast Asia, and so on. Uh, it started being held in India for the first time since uh, 2024, and this is the second edition being held in India. And uh, in 2024, even in the first year that it was held, uh, we were told by the authorities of SEMI who, who hold these conferences across the world that uh, India's SEMI was about four times bigger than any other country where a similar conference was held for the first time. And this year, it is twice as big as last year's event held in uh, Noida. Uh, we had about 350 um, exhibitors participating. Um, we had close to about uh, uh, 2,500 delegates from about 48 countries. Um, about uh, 30 companies from about 30 countries were represented in the event. Um, we had six country pavilions. So all in all, it's been uh, mm -hmm. uh, an event which has sparked a lot of enthusiasm. And uh, many leading CEOs from uh, the semiconductor world from all over uh, the globe are joining us for this event. And now to the question that the whole of India and the world wants to know about, the first ever Made in India chip and its features, Mr. Krishnan. Uh, this is uh, the first chip which has been commercially made in India. Mm -hmm. I, should, I should emphasize that because if you look at the first ever made in India chip, uh, we do have a small facility which produces chips for strategic purposes. So this is not one of those. But uh, commercially uh, manufactured chip uh, entirely in India was uh, brought out in the CG power plant, uh, CG power's uh, semiconductor plant based in uh, um, Sanand in Gujarat in their pilot facility. So that would be the first chip which has come out, which uh, um, uh, one of which uh, the minister today presented to the prime minister as part of a memento, mm -hmm. which contained many other chips which have been designed by Indian students under right. the ministry's chips to startup program. And uh, so that was showcasing Indeed. what India has done in the area of uh, chip manufacture. Could you also throw some light on how many semiconductor design or fabrication units or plants are there in India today? Where are they located and are they all in the private domain, the private sector? I think uh, there are two parts to this. One part to this is uh, the semiconductor manufacturing facilities. Uh, under the India Semiconductor Mission, which was approved in uh, December of 2021 mm -hmm. and then really came on stream during 2022 financial, in uh, 2022 calendar year with the approval of the first unit to be established by Micron, which is mm -hmm. an American uh, chip maker for, uh, and especially they do packaging. So they uh, were to establish the first uh, ATMP plant, again in Sanand in Gujarat. Um, the construction of that plant is proceeding apace and the main uh, unit mm -hmm. will commence uh, production later this year. Mm -hmm. Before uh, the end of this year, they should be commencing produ production at that uh, plant. Uh, installation of equipment and so on is going on currently. Uh, that should commence production. The Tatas um, had two projects approved. Mm -hmm. One is the establishment of a fab, 
that is at Dolera in Gujarat, mm -hmm. and the other, and that would be India's first fab, because that right. is where the wafers are etched, and that is fundamental to the entire semiconductor True. industry. And they're also setting up another ATMP plant in uh, Assam. Mm -hmm. Then we have CG Power. Uh, I spoke about CG Power, which is again in Sanand, Gujarat, and Canes, which is also in Sanand, Gujarat. Then uh, we have uh, HCL Foxconn setting up a plant which is at Noida, not far from here in Delhi. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have two more plants coming up in Orissa um, of uh, 6M, which is a compound semiconductor fab right. and a packaging unit. And uh, a 3D glass unit, which is coming up again in Orissa. And we have one plant, ASIP, which is coming up in Andhra Pradesh and a plant uh, by CDIL, which is uh, in some ways India's oldest semiconductor packaging plant, mm -hmm. that is at Mohali in uh, Punjab. Right. Uh, for the benefit of uh, viewers joining us from around the world, Mr. Krishnan, would you like to talk a bit, if you will, about the Indian government's policies and incentives for the industry? Say, for instance, about production link incentives for end-to-end -end capabilities, design link incentive scheme, and the chips to start up program. That's right. Um, the main and most ambitious industrial policy scheme, which mm -hmm. in my experience has ever been taken up, is the India Semiconductor Missions Assistance for establishing fabs and uh, ATMPs in India. Um, we pay uh, uh, an incentive amount, a subsidy amount of 50% of mm -hmm. the cost of the plant. And this is paid on a paripasu basis. Mm -hmm. In addition to the 50% which is paid by the government of India, state governments sure. also contribute and add to that. Mm. And the total uh, budget which was allocated for the India Semiconductor Mission Phase 1 was 76,000 crore. And mm -hmm. at that time it was almost equivalent to about 10 billion US dollars. And uh, currently, I'm happy to inform your viewers that sure. uh, the entire amount practically has been uh, committed for mm -hmm. uh, various uh, semiconductor plants which are coming up in the, in the first phase, and all 10 of them are coming up in the private sector. In addition, uh, we do two other things under the semiconductor mission. Mm -hmm. One is the modernization of the semiconductor laboratory in Mohali which is um, a government-run, uh, government-owned unit and uh, which was set up in the 70s and uh, uh, requires modernization, modernization at this point. And uh, the second part is the design-linked incentive scheme, mm -hmm. which is combined with the Chips to Startup scheme. Under the Chips to Startup uh, program, uh, we provide uh, what are called EDA tools. These mm -hmm. are uh, design tools, software tools, which are essential for um, anybody to design a chip, a right. semiconductor chip. Um, these tools are usually, and the program that we have, Chips to Startup, actually enables more than about 85,000 students to use these tools. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we have currently about 350 institutions, about 278 academic institutions and about 72 startups mm -hmm. which use these EDA tools. And they have been used in 2025 itself for right. almost 13 million hours. Mm -hmm. So which makes it probably the largest single program mm -hmm. in the world in which uh, EDA tools are provide, uh, provided in a centralized fashion. Mm -hmm. um, and this is actually built the uh, base of uh, the semiconductor design human resource system in the mm -hmm. country. Today, India has 20% of the entire semiconductor design engineers in the world. So uh, one in five, one in mm -hmm. five uh, semiconductor design engineers are based out of India currently, mm -hmm. and mm, uh, they design for a number of international companies. Practically mm -hmm. every major international uh, chip design company uh, operates uh, with with an office in India, with a design uh, office in India. Um, in addition, we also have the design linked in incentive scheme, mm -hmm. which basically supports startups and uh, small and medium industries uh, to actually establish um, a semiconductor design facility. As I mentioned, we do a lot of design for a number of international companies, mm -hmm. but 
very little of that design is retained as intellectual property in India. Mm -hmm. So it is to encourage the creation of more Indian intellectual property in the semiconductor space that the Design Linked Incentive Scheme was commenced. Uh, we provide grants to these companies which uh, uh, create uh, such uh, intellectual property in India and retain it uh, within the country. Um, so about 23 companies, 23 startups have been assisted under the Design Linked Incentive Program already. And may take a global perspective, Mr. Krishnan, what can you tell our viewers about India's international cooperation in semiconductor design and manufacturing? We are told India is partnering with uh, Taiwan, for instance, or Singapore, uh, Japan and the US. So how many countries would we be partnering with? You see, uh, for instance, if you, as I mentioned earlier, today's Semicon, we had attendance of delegates from about 43 countries. Mm -hmm. We had um, 30 countries uh, who had uh, various uh, industrial units uh, which were represented there. And uh, we had six country pavilions. Um, so uh, semiconductors are a global value chain mm -hmm. and it requires collaboration across nations True. to make it happen. So we have um, an MOU with, um, it is called Trust, with the United States to collaborate in the area of uh, semiconductors specifically mm -hmm. um, amongst other advanced uh, technology areas. We have one with the European Union, we have mm -hmm. one with uh, Germany, we have one with uh, the Netherlands, we have one with Japan, one with Singapore. Mm -hmm. So we have with a number of countries uh, these agreements to cooperate on skilling, to cooperate on uh, uh, developing technologies mm -hmm. and uh, design and so on. Uh, in addition to these MOUs, we also have a number of other countries from where companies are uh, uh, speaking to us on what can happen in the semiconductor space. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, is, uh, it is a matter of actually collaborating across the world in terms of how we are able to move forward in the semiconductor space. Mm -hmm. And that was apparent in Semicon 2's inauguration today sure. where CEOs of a number of international companies were on stage and spoke about their plans in India, their collaboration with India and how they can move forward. And finally, Mr. Krishnan, how would you describe India's journey from back-end operations to becoming a full-stack semiconductor nation? India, we are told, is aiming to become a semiconductor hub with a comprehensive ecosystem, one that encompasses designing, manufacturing, packaging, and high-tech devices. Um, as I already mentioned to you, uh, we, we spoke about the Design Linked Incentive Scheme and mm -hmm. we spoke about uh, the India Semiconductor Mission Phase 1 under which mm -hmm. a number of companies are setting up uh, fabs and uh, ATMPs right. and other facilities. Now, this by itself is not a full-scale uh, 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 provision. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, the Prime Minister today mentioned that uh, the India Semiconductor Mission Phase 2 is uh, something that we are working on. And in the course of phase two, we'll focus not just on more fabs and ATMPs, mm -hmm. of which we definitely need more. But in addition to that, we are looking at the entire ecosystem. Right. So we are going to look at uh, incentivizing semiconductor equipment manufacturing companies, mm -hmm. um, materials ma uh, manufacturing companies, chemicals manufacturing companies, gases companies which make gases and testing companies. So right. there's a whole range of other companies which work around these major uh, uh, fabs and ATMPs. Mm -hmm. So we would like to bring all of them in. And in addition, we would also like to see how we can further deepen the ecosystem for semiconductor design right. because currently it is limited to startups and MSMEs. So we would like to expand that to more domestic companies and more companies which are willing to retain their IP in India, mm -hmm. intellectual property for that in India, and also make sure that uh, there is an opening for risk capital for such companies. In fact, today one of the key announcements which was made by, um, by a consortium of uh, funds, private equity and venture capital funds, was the establishment of a, a global alliance to support deep tech in India. Mm -hmm. And that is already, uh, it has people who are agreeing to put together at least a billion dollars and possibly right. more coming. So uh, in that sense, I think uh, we are looking to see that we have a full-fledged mm, semiconductor ecosystem in the country end-to-end. -end. Mr. Krishnan, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your thoughts with our uh, 
viewers in India and around the world. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you, you for having it. me. Thank you. Pleasure.